Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Unity 2D Tutorials for Beginners. In this section we're going to talk about the interaction system. And the interaction system has a lot of features and components. We're going to start in this episode by building the base script of the interaction system for our character controller. Let's go! The interaction system. It's a huge part of all the games, whether it's a 2D or 3D game. In our game here, we're going to create a simple interaction system. And in that interaction system, we're going to have to deal with items, uh, like pickable items, examinable items, and then the power-up items, and etc. We're going to have more details on what kind of items we use later in the next episodes. But in this episode, we're going to work on creating the base script for the interaction systems. And that script is going to basically deal with uh, the input of the player and then what kind of objects are we gonna interact with first of all I'm gonna have to create uh, a new script you feel free to do whatever you want in here because you can add the same stuff to the Fox script that we have before here and uh, you can have them separate you can have them on one script and have regions but for me I want to make it in a different script so let's make a script, call it interaction system. Okay? Again, the naming is up to you. And uh, that's not the script that we want. Interaction system. Uh, double click. Yep, that's we're good. Let's start from the beginning. So w what what does interaction mean? How how does it work? So I'm gonna explain with my amazing drawing skills. So let's say we have an object. We don't know what this object means. At the moment, it's just an object. It's an interactable object. So let's make it a star. And that's our, uh, our player here, right? So that's our player. Yep. And that's him. Exactly. Whee! How does the interaction happen in programming You know, concepts? So we have two objects. The simplest way that we use is we have a collider for our object here and also a collider let's let's go with square right it's fine the 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 way that we can actually detect anything between these two is two ways we can add, we can even have them collide with each other like two pieces of rock you know hitting each other or trigger with each other like intersect like going past, going through it. So this guy can go actually go back and forth inside of this. That's called in, in interaction, like uh, triggering, intersecting. We're going to use this second one. And in order for this one to happen, we I'm going to have to explain one simple thing. Let's look at our player here, right? So we've got ourselves a capsule collider. Any 2D collider or any collider in Unity has this is trigger boolean. And it says whether the collider behaves as a trigger or not. So what that means is right now it's off, which means it collides with object. I want to explain this in a simple way. We have two things. We have triggered and not triggered collisions. Let's look at this in this way. Triggered objects, they're hollow. They're like ghosts. You can go through them inside and out, right? But non-triggered objects, they're bulky. So these ones, they're like a rock, they're like a piece of metal, wood, whatever. You cannot go through them. So in order to, to get this trigger object in here, like intersect, we should have one of the objects to be trigger. And our player is not a trigger, he's, he's like, he has a mass and he touches the floor, he collides with objects. So that, that leaves us that the items that we're going to use has to have then yes trigger like the true trigger boolean which makes them intersectable this is a simple way of explaining it what we're gonna do next is we're gonna have to create the basic things so the steps that we're gonna do right now is we're gonna have to define the input of the the player which he's gonna have to click in order to interact with stuff Let's delete start because right now we're not going to use it. Delete these comments. 
what we're going to do is we're going to have to make this thing called check or you know what interact input so what this does let's have it as a boolean right inside of it we're going to have to check as we did before we have to check for the input of the keyboard if you make it for other games you can have a, a custom key input we go we're going to go with input dot get key down because we're going to click it once the key code dot e since it's the most usable button in any kind of fps games or anything any 2d games you can change this as much as you want to whatever button you need but i'm going to use e since this method is also boolean we have to give it back a true or false value and this get key down gives exactly what we need it gives a boolean you can read so what we can do here is just write return and we're good so what we're going to do here is we're going to have to build two mechanics the first one we've already built it which is detecting the button the second one is knowing did we actually interact with an object like did we actually intersect with an object because if we're not intersecting with an object if we're not interacting with, with it our input is obsolete so what we're going to do is we're going to have to make this thing called let's call it object uh, collision no let's go with trigger no it's too uh, generic let's go with uh, detect object that's it I think that's general enough and we're gonna use the same thing as we did in the fox in here with the ground check we're gonna use the same mechanics we're gonna except of having a lot we're gonna use only one so we're gonna use the overlap circle it's gonna be simple we're gonna make a boolean is detected and then have physics 2d that overlap circle and then we have to pass two things in here right uh, let me open this one in here we have three things let's let's we have to pass three things the first one is let's call it tr uh, detection area or detection point okay and the second one is going to be detection radius is that right correct yeah like this and the third thing is going to be detection layer yep this will define which layer like the object layer so the objects will have their own layer right and this will be the radius that one will be the transformed object so let's do it let's go public transform no. Transform detection point. We go here. We're gonna make it constant. No. Private const detection ra radius. And this one will be public mask la mask layer well, layer mask. No. Layer mask detection mask uh, layer. Uh, this one is like this because it has to be point two. We have to give it oh what a doof. I didn't give it data type. So we have this set up like this. We have detection layer. We have everything very cool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna insert all this stuff in here. We're gonna have the this that position and that second one will need the radius. So we're gonna detection radius. The last one will be like the mask, layer mask, or detection layer. So what we have right now is we have two detection parts in here. One to detect whether we're intersecting with an object and the other one detect whether we're clicking a button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go if detect object. So if we're detecting an object, yeah, let's make it like this. We have, we open this up here. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. I forgot. <laughs> we have to make this detect object also boolean and return is detected. Would be easier to do it this way. Like return. So we can return whatever's happening here. So 
in the update we're gonna check are we intersecting with something if if so we're gonna check if interact but on put is like this we're gonna go with interact that's cool so now comes the testing part we have to make sure we're not gonna build an item system right now we're gonna use an, an, a dummy so we're gonna take this we're gonna add wait where is it oh this is the zero okay I'm gonna use a different sprite because this doesn't relate to an item let's go with Yeah, like a, with a cherry. So the reason this is looks small because uh, if you click on a, on a sprite itself, you can see this pixel per unit is set to hundred. But I'm using ten in here, so this will make it slightly larger. So we're good. We have this thing in here. It's I'm gonna call it item one. It has a sprite. We're not gonna go again. We're not gonna go into item details. We're gonna build that uh, uh, script, the item script, in the next video. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna choose. We're gonna add a layer. Call it item. Okay. And that item will be assigned to this one. And we'll make a box collider. And as explained, it's gonna have to have a trigger. So this is done. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go to the box and add the uh, it's called interaction system and I like it to be on top I mean the script mm -hmm. I like the scripts to be at the top of the whole hierarchy so I can actually change them easily so what we have here we have detection point and layer the layer as we did it has to be an item so it only intersects with items and detection point we're gonna have to do the same thing as we did to the floor detection right so we're gonna take let's take the floor actually let's take the overhead and make it zero even minus point five minus I think minus point six is good and then we have to bring it forward uh, this all depends on you a lot of games they want an object they want the character to interact with an object while it's inside of it some of them they want it to have while they're in front of it I'm gonna go with the second one. I'm gonna have to say here interact detect actually check. Let's go with the same naming. So what we're gonna have here is gonna have point six as well. What this does is as soon as you we are almost touching it, it's gonna do something here. So we're gonna drag and drop this and put it in here. And we should if everything is doing fine we should get an interaction here if we come close click E see now we're doing good whenever we click E we're gonna get an interact debug which is this one I wanna do something to make it look more you know viewable so we're gonna implement what we've done before in the we have gizmos on gizmos selected and this what we'll do is we're gonna go gizmos that color as we did before it was let's see let's see what colors we use yellow and this one. let's use green color dot green and then what we're gonna do is gizmos that draw circle a sphere I think yeah sphere we're gonna give it the position of the detection point and the radius okay. So what this what we're gonna have here, we're gonna have a much more elaborate view for the detection. See here. And that's it. So uh, as soon as we start the game, let, let's enable the debug section so we can see in the interaction. Actually we didn't have a boolean public boolean, so it doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do is like if I keep walking, click EE, e, nothing happens. So if as soon as I touch this part, click E, we get interact. If I look left, see? Uh, I think we're actually touching it. Yeah, we're still touching it. So if you can see that here, as long as the yellow, uh, sorry, the green uh, circle is inside the big cube here, it's gonna give interaction. So if we stand here, we click E, nothing happens. 
we're interacting. All right, and uh, with this, we have started our own interaction system, and we've we've defined the interaction point uh, input and the interaction layer. And next episode, we're gonna deal with the item setup and their own interaction methods. And for here, I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe for more amazing content. If you got any more questions, concerns, or problems that happen, or even correction for me, please hit the comment uh, below. Other than this, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.